This review of the uh, Scrambler Mid waterproof, uh, 2 waterproof has taken a lot longer to get accomplished than I originally wanted it to. I took these things out for a spin yesterday. You're going to see video of that. And as you can see, we took uh, a, 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 a path not often taken. I actually took a path that really didn't even exist really to test these things out. I've had a lot of I've had a lot of boots from Zero Shoes. These are definitely one of my favorites. Not a Scrambler Mid, the original version of it still edges it out as my favorite just because it's a lot more flexible. I would have done a flexibility test, but I'd get mud all over the place and I'm not going to do that. It is a lot less flexible than the Scrambler Mid. It's a lot more flexible than any other technical waterproof boot that you're going to buy. So it is somewhere in between. It it doesn't roll up, you know, you know, like in a ball like a lot of zero shoes do, but it does have a lot of flexibility, you know, torsion wise, and you know that I don't know what that what way is called. If you're looking for something that is waterproof and has a lot of flexibility, does have a lot of ground feel. Now, it's not going to have as much ground feel as like my, I don't know, uh, Speed Force 2. It's not going to have that. I mean, when you wear a Speed Force 2, you almost don't even feel like you have a shoe on, but you, but you know you got a shoe on. With these, you definitely know you got a shoe on. It does have that 10 millimeter hard, it's like a hard foam that you that you know is there it definitely protects you i was in a very rocky i was in creeks i was in like a little river i was all over the place now i did have a size 12 and a half of these this is a size 13 and the size 12 and a half for whatever reason was digging into my ankle at the top where the tongue the gasket and all that kind of joins on my right side and i contacted them and they said, uh, you know, just send them back and we'll send you out another pair. And that's what, what they did. It did take a while because whatever reason, I don't know. And so I got these yesterday. But I did test the other ones out while I had them before I sent them in. And I like them as well. So I've tested two different pairs of these out in creeks, rivers, whatever, you know, other water that you're going to walk in. I did take video of that. <laughs> Now, if you are going to be walking in an area, if you're going to be hiking in an area, if you're going to be exploring in an area that is not going to ever have water, is very unlikely to ever get water, or is whatever, just not gonna, you're just not going to walk anywhere that's really going to have a lot of water in it, I wouldn't recommend them. They're a lot stiffer than the Scrambler Mid by a long shot, like a long shot. I got the Scrambler Mid here. I mean, these are so much more flexible. It's it's crazy. Now, maybe is that because I've had these things for uh, a little over a year. It could be. Um, there is some pretty significant differences in these. I mean, you can definitely tell now. There's a non-waterproof version of this. Sorry, this way. There is a huge difference. They did a lot of work to this. They, they put a lot of effort into making it more durable. That being said, I have had this for over a year. This is the only boot that I have hiked in, in that amount of time. I couldn't tell you how many hikes I've done, but it's a lot. It's at least two a week for over the last year, exclusively in these. And this is what they still look like, okay? <clears throat> they have no visible real wear to them other than they got dirt on them. So we're going at like two times a week minimally for the last over a year in those things and that's what they still look like i imagine that the waterproof version is going to look even better because they did add quite a bit of reinforcements here up here you know everywhere there it the, the top here is completely different it, it looks way more i guess professional or whatever the one thing that I don't like about these things, though, is this hook system. I kept having, when I was trying to tie them, I kept having 
the the laces slip out for whatever reason i did not like that but once i got them going they were fine also something kind of comical on this is for whatever reason the tag that says waterproof on this is upside down on this one but it's right side up on the others not a huge deal so would i recommend them for somebody who's going to be walking or hiking or whatever in an area that your chances are going to run into mud water streams creeks yes 100 percent 100 percent would i have both i already have both but would i have if i didn't have both i would definitely have both because you might like here during the summer there's a lot of times in the summer that we really don't get that much rain for like three or four weeks there's really no reason to have a waterproof on you now if you're somewhere that and you live that somewhere that your chances are really good going to run into something that has water you know whatever it might be whatever form it might be in then it's a hundred percent it's comfortable it, it's definitely comfortable but it is definitely more firm and you know rigid than the the scrambler is it, it really is now i can kind of remember the scrambler when it was new it it was very flexible. It, it was to the, so flexible to the point of, I have an excursion uh, fusion and I have the daylight hiker fusion, I think is what they're called from, they're over here uh, from uh, um, Zero Shoes. I don't even wear them anymore. I don't even, I was actually, I was considering actually donating them because I, I don't I don't wear them anymore. Like if I, I would never buy those over the Scrambler Mid, never. And I wouldn't buy the, the the waterproof over the scrambler either. So that is my judgment based on having those things for over a year and having these things for about a month now. I wore the other one maybe eight to 10 times. And then th these new ones here that are down there, I wore those once yesterday. That is my that is my review. Hopefully it did you some good. Comments down, how many how many zero shoes do you have? Do you really like zero shoes? Is it your first time? Are you considering it? If you're new, here's this. So if you are new to the world of barefoot, barefoot shoe hiking boot thing, this will be perfect for you. It is like the perfect entry for you because it's gonna be the blend between a scrambler mid without waterproof the clunky hiking boot that you're used to and it's, it's going to be somewhere in between so it'll be a real good entry for you so that might be actually where you want to start you know permanently i uh, if you got any questions that you that you want me to answer just leave them down in the comment section i usually can answer them i've been wearing zero shoes I've, since before they were even zero shoes they were in, invisible shoe or something like that so i've i've been working you know i've been using them for a very long time now anyways I think I've rambled on enough. I am going to be doing a review of the new a Sandal or Rachi or whatever, Trek H or whatever that they brought out recently. That will be coming next if that's something you're interested in. Anyway, talk to you in the next one.